What's up, guys? Welcome to another video on my channel. Today we have Filmora 13.3. Okay, so we have seven new features in Filmora 13.3, and I think some of them are very interesting to you. So in this video, I will cover all seven new features in Filmora 13.3. Hopefully, this video is helpful for you. And first thing first, if you want to upgrade to this latest version, you must have a license of Filmora 13. And if you want to purchase the license, don't forget to use my 20% discount coupon to save your money. Everything will be in my description. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. All right, and this is my Filmora 13.3. And the first new feature is that we have a new folder named Filters. So normally we have eight folders right here. So we have media, stock media, audio, title, transition, effect sticker, and template. And now we have new folder here it is filter so in this folder we have many new filter that they added to the program and they say that they add more than 100 different filter or camera alert from professional color colorist by the way i don't think it is necessary to have more than 100 different filter in the program because i never used all of them i just use some of them for example i use the two and light to you or to you and orange flat for my video and that's all i don't want to use all other thing here by the way we have a new folder here and it is divided into category the first one is my so this uh, is a folder where you download the filter okay download and favorite and this is a filter folder so we have basic mono lifestyle cinematic scenery creative portrait and camera after duck and food and stuff like that but being mentioned that in this folder you have two options the first one is free and the second one is paid one so if you select all you will see many paid filter here fresh delight so the one with pinky diamond button that is a subscription service you have to purchase more to use them so remember to select only free one so you can use free filter and i think that's enough for making video okay for example at the basic one if i want to use two and orange all i need to do is to drag and drop it here on top of my video and this is two and orange you see here okay and this is after and this is before so this is before and this is after and you can also control the opacity of the filter also just double click at the filter okay and reduce the opacity right here you can also keyframe the opacity also okay and if you want to protect your skin tone you want to increase this skin tone slider okay just increase it to maximum 100 and it will get rid of the filter okay so make it 50 stuff like that and then you can click ok and be mentioned that you can also add filter or add that to your adjustment layer in Filmora 13 for example you go back to your media and you have the adjustment layer here and you have the adjustment layer just drag and drop it here on the timeline okay and then come back to the filter and then you can just drag and drop the filter directly to your adjustment layer okay so by doing this you can double click at the adjustment layer and then you can adjust the filter okay opacity stuff like that so this is the first new feature in Filmora 13 Point three, and let's go to the second one which is the logo review option so i think it is interesting because whenever you want to create an intro for your youtube channel or create an intro for your video you can use the logo review function in Filmora 13.3 now okay so let me show you how to do that for example i have a video here so if i want to create an intro at the beginning i can press ctrl a to select everything and then i can drag all of them to the right and now i want to create a simple logo intro for my video i can go back to my media and now we have a new folder here we is the influence kit so just select it and now we have two options popular eye-catching three second intro and the second one is brand transmission logo review and it is new in Filmora 13.3 we can just click here start creating okay and now we have six options for your logo review option okay so first thing we have to select select the style first this is digital pixel number one digital pixel number two fly in logo review light swipe and virtual split circle glitch stuff like that 
So you have to select the theme first. For example, I can select this simple flying. Okay. And then you want to select the edit option right here. And you want to add your logo and add your text here. For example, the text I can select Jackie Nguyen with my name. And for the logo, we can click here, add. By the way, you want to select the logo that is in square 1080p and less than 10 megabyte. And in PNG image or JPEG is okay. So I will select this one. So this is a PNG logo of Filmora. Okay, just select it and then click open. And now you can preview it right here. And then you can click finish to finish the logo review intro. Okay. And here we have the flying logo review intro. By the way, we don't have the music and sound effect inside. So you have to add music and sound effect yourself. If you want to add sound effect and music, in the logo you have to use the intro tools like this so you want to go back to the influencer kit here and start creating and then you use this option to add logo and intro and uh, music and sound effects so that is the second new feature in Filmora 13.3 and let's go to the next one which is related to multi-cam editing okay okay and for this example we use two camera angle the first one is the angle from my phone and the second one is from my main camera which is the Canon 800D and I have the sound here from my MD1 Pro so we use the USB microphone I stick it directly to my computer Okay, so normally when editing two camera in Filmora, we have to synchronize them, synchronize the audio of the video, and then we just move around the video and the audio. And now it is easier to do in Filmora 13. Okay, for example, let's go back to my Filmora 13.3 okay and this is my example timeline by the way in order to save your time i already import the video here so this is the video of me with the phone camera and this is the canon 800d video so we are going to delete everything on the timeline okay so so this is the normal timeline and first thing first normally when you edit video in Filmora 13 with multiple camera you have to drag and drop all of them onto the timeline for example here so we are going to put the main camera here down at the bottom track and we have a phone camera here for example and at the previous version you have to right click here and detach the audio detach the audio and then you want to synchronize the audio of the, the video here the phone camera with the main camera so it is a little bit annoying because when you want to move the camera and the audio together you have to select all of them uh, using the control key to select all of them so now it is easier okay so number one you want to drag and drop them onto a timeline and put the sub camera here at the track number two and the main camera at the track number one and then you want to highlight all of them and then right click okay and now you have the auto synchronization option here to synchronize both video okay so it is easier just select the auto synchronization and then wait a few minutes for the program to finish the synchronization okay and now the video is synchronized and now you can work with video track number one and number two okay so first thing you want to mute the audio or the phone video and then maybe you want to find the thing right here one two three okay so normally i will say one two three and clap my hands so that is for manual synchronization so now the software do the job so we can split the video right here and then we can do the ripple delete okay and now we can just hide the first track and then play the main video track and at the point i want to show the the phone on the camera or the video on the phone I can okay play. and for this example we use two camera angle okay so this is the uh, the angle from my phone so I will just split this video right here so at this position we can just hide the video like we can just right click and select disable clip okay and now we can turn on the show track here so this is the transition from the first to the second two camera angle the first one is the okay the first one is this one 
By the way, it is a little bit lag because I used I overlay two video and one is 4K and the other is Full HD. So I'm going to render the timeline so you can see it better. Okay, just render the timeline. Okay, and this is the transition from the first to the second my one. Angle. The first one is the angle from my phone, and go back to the main camera so we can split the video right here, and then we can disable the clip here, the phone clip. So disable it. Okay, so that is how to edit multiple camera in Filmora 13.3 right now. I think it is interesting. By the way, it's better to have a separate window or separate multi-cam editor in Filmora. Hopefully, they will edit in the future. So that is the third new feature in Filmora 13.3. And let's come to another one, which is about the text editing capability. So they say it is expanded text editing capability with additional 3D text attribute fast forms positioning and easier switching of preset by the way uh, let's take a look so first thing first it is not just about the 3d text it's about the normal text also so for example we can add a new text layer here and this is the text here we want to make it bigger okay so normally we if we want to format the text and select the preset we have to switch the preset from view in preset to work out preset or something like that but now it is easier okay just double click at the text here to customize it and then you want to go to title and you see here we have the text here so we can change the text right here for example i can change it to zeki nguyen and then we can select the fonts and the size style like that right here and now we have a preset here so it's just one window it's a big one so I think it's better. Normally we have to select the built-in preset right here and work out preset and then we have the table here. But now it is only one table. And there's another chance in the text editor is the text to speech tab. So this is a new one. If you want to use text to speech, you want to click here at the text to speech and select the language and select the voice. And now you can convert your text to to voiceover okay by the way you need an ai credit to to use this function but now i have only 87 ai credit left so maybe i have to purchase another annual plan of femora so i will do it in the afternoon okay with this annual plan you can use ai credit unlimited in femora software and the price is 49.99 us dollar per year with my 20 percent discount coupon you need to pay 39.99 us dollar only so link will be in the description and for the 3d this is the same so we can add another 3d text here so this is 3d and we have the text here here and we can double click and see the same take to speed and video title so we go to the basic and we have the text here and we have the preset right here so so it is just one big window. It is easier to select the preset. Okay, and that is new feature number four in Filmora 13.3. And number five is about the rulers and guide in Filmora. So now it is possible to add the ruler and guide to the preview window. Okay, for example, you want to add, add a horizontal guide here or a vertical guide here. Now it is possible. All you need to do is to right click here at the preview window and then you can select ruler. Okay, and you can use a shortcut control P to turn on the ruler also. So just select the ruler. And you see here, I have some guy here. By the way, if you want to add any guys on the ruler, you want to right click here at this position and you can add guy. Okay, and then you can optimize your guy like the color and also the position. And also you can adjust the position also. So let's click OK and you have a red guy here. And you can select it and right click and select delete guy if you want. Okay, you can do the same at this point. For example, you can add guy here and then select OK. And you want to select it and right click and delete. Okay, and you can even lock the guy here or hide the guy. Just right click at the preview window and then select guys. And then you want to select lock guy to lock all the guys so that you will not be able to move the guy. Okay, uh, or you can hide the guys. And we mentioned that after you add the guys here on the screen when you export the video it will it will not have the guy on your video so that is new feature number five and number six is about a new backup window 
So normally, when you want to find your backup project, you have to go to your computer and go to the backup folder of Filmora, and then you open the backup project. But now they have a new window for you. To see the backup window, you want to go to File, and then you want to select the project backup. Okay, just select it, and now you have the project backup window here. So one, two. So I have two project here. By the way, we can open it or cancel it just to close the window. But if you want to change the backup time, like one minute, two minute, or two minute, or stuff like that, you still have to go to the file and then preferences, and then you want to select the folder tab right here, and there you see here backup setting. So I set it to one minute, and I think it is the best time to to backup my project. By the way, you can select five minute, ten minute, twenty minute, or thirty minute. Okay, so it's up to you. And you can click apply. So that is the new feature number six. And number seven is about the AI generated music, and they give you more option at the AI generated music. But if you want to generate AI music, you want to go to the audio tab right here, and then you want to select AI music and select the tool and click the start button. Okay, and this is the AI music generator. And to be honest, I seldom use this one because normally when we want to generate AI music, we have to be sure about the copyright issues. That's the main reason why I never use the AI music and upload to my YouTube channel. By the way, this is a new window, and now they add tempo, so you can select not only the mood, the theme, the genre, but you can also select the tempo for your music. Normally, it would be the default. So now you can select tempo like low, normal, or high, and the music duration here, and also music count here, and then you can click start to generate. And once again, it will need AI credit. So if you want to use the AI music generator in Filmora 13, you have to buy more AI credit from Wondershare. All right, so that's everything you want to know about Filmora 13.3. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you want to upgrade to this latest version, just go ahead to the link in the description and go to Wondershare website, download the latest version, and you will have all this new feature. Okay, so that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.